when I grow up. Many moons ago, a teacher said to me, tell me, boy, when you grow up, what do you want to be? Is it a fireman or a sailor, a train driver perhaps, or lion tamer in the circus wearing your new lion tamer's hat? Or a policeman with a truncheon catching bad guys on the run? Or a military man in the army with a trade and a shooting gun? I looked at him tilted head. I swear that this is true. I said, I don't want to be any of those things. I want to be Doctor Who. So you can keep your poxy fire truck, though I'm sure it's really exciting. And to sail upon the seven seas is actually quite inviting. And soldiers and coppers with Batons and guns wearing their clodhopper boots do nothing to ping my slightest interest. I want to be Doctor Who. I could be Superman flying around with my big red flapping cape or Spider-Man slinging swings abound with responsibilities great. Batman's always been a favourite of mine. Oh, and the Incredible Hulk too. But none of them can travel through time, you see. I want to be Doctor Who, to fly around the universe in time and relative dimension in space, saving civilizations from tyrannies a mass, to never die, only change your face. Understanding the beauty of the most violent of creatures, traveling in your small box of blue. There's nothing on this earth to compare. I want to be Doctor Who. Well, the teacher was not pleased with this and told me if I wanted to survive, pay my bills and have a good life, you need to get a nine to five. I could not argue with this statement. The concept was nothing new. But he asked me what I wanted to be. And I wanted to be Doctor Who. From that day on, I've always worked hard. Made enough cash to do as I please. Though I have never tamed any lions. Or driven any trains from A to B. I've always stayed friends with the superheroes I first met when I was at school. And every weekend, when my son is Peter Pan, I am Doctor Who. <laughs> Were you expecting somebody else? Ha, 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 ha.